Well, Michael Griffin, Aston Villa. We're just after watching a very competitive match uh, last game of the the the, the, the opening day uh, two two with Celtic. Your impressions? Uh, really exciting game for the boys. Um, both teams had some really good opportunities. Uh, obviously exciting that we we scored scored two, conceded two. Uh, obviously a point on the board for the boys for the first game. Um, plenty to improve on, obviously, for the next few games. And just how important is it uh, your opening uh, match in tournament football to get something out of it? Um, I suppose it's both ways. Um, obviously, it's nice to get some momentum in the, in the game uh, and in the tournament. Um, obviously, there's learning to be had, wins, draws, or losses. Um, obviously, there are only 10, 11, 12 year old T's boys, so. Um, as I say, they'll be happy to, to get a bit of momentum. Um, equally, they'll probably be disappointed not to get all three points. Look, uh, the Robbie Keane tournament hosted here by Crumlin United has managed to attract top, top uh, teams from around Europe, and that includes Aston Villa. You know, the opportunity to play against academy sides uh, at a high level. Yeah, it's um, obviously we came here last year. Um, obviously, we were really proud to be invited back. Um, we find this tournament really beneficial for the boys in terms of the opportunities that you guys put on for them. Um, playing obviously um, in front of the crowds are a big benefit for the boys and getting used to the hostility sometimes, having the excitement go really high, having disappointment go really low um, and obviously it's an opportunity for us to play against some different teams that we don't always get to play week in week out. Right. Um, so that's one of the, the, the positives for us. I think if we had VAR uh, in operation here there was, there was a bit of a shout later on your impressions or your thoughts? <laughs> Not for the penalty. Yeah. <laughs> no, well, that wasn't a penalty. There was a penalty. <laughs> we'll say it's a pen Celtic to say it, won't we? OK. Well, look, uh, Michael, many thanks for talking to us. Enjoy the rest of your uh, uh, tournament here and, of course, your stay in Dublin. Well done. Cheers, man.